Hey guys, welcome to another video by RC Alley. Today we're going to be comparing these fro lines to these scribbles, aka scribbles. So what I'm going to do is with another driver, with another racer, Brandon Weekly, is we'll do basically one hot lap each on each tire and see where we end up. So the reason I'm doing this is there has been a lot of talk about this new scribble compound and how easy it is to uh, break in. So as far as breaking in tires, I've never had a tire break in easier or quicker. You can go from basically a bag, tire in a bag to a fully prepped race ready tire in about 15 minutes or maybe even a little less, which is incredible. So basically the conditions of the track were not matching the tires the track was pretty wet on the day we drove and in the main i ended up running actually really low pins and they were hooking up great so if you you can tell like the pro lines they have a good amount of meat on them and then the aka's are pretty much the same almost brand new so we're going to drive like i said uh, one hot lap each really and then uh, see how it goes from there so first i'm going to show brandon's lap on the pro lines and then my lap on the pro lines and then brandon's lap on the scribbles followed by my lap on the scribbles Right, first person driving today will be Brandon Weekly. He's been a little bit quicker on than me on this layout, so uh, we'll definitely be looking at his hot laps. Ready? Yep. Well, yeah. All right, here goes Vanya's run on the uh, pro lines. Let him get around here to start it. Right, Brandon's starting his laps with, or a lap, we'll see how I edit it out, with the scribbles. Twenty-one point three. 
So there you have it guys on this occasion the scribbles won and you know what this has been happening a lot lately they're just so easy to get right that uh, you get faster lap times on them because your tires are prepped correctly versus the pro line you're just chasing the tire always now once I did put on little slicker tires or pretty slick tires for the main I did get my hot lap and that was on pro line so the scribbles I feel like they do really good when the track is a little wet but big issues when our track gets super dusty and dry it looks like it might uh, the, pro, the AKAs might not have enough pin for uh, those kind of track conditions so we'll see later in the summer once it's get once it gets really hot and um, the track starts breaking apart we'll see how the grip is but on a very very moist track <clears throat> i mean like i said i put on almost slick tires and they, they were hooking up these actually were great my uh my fast lap was only a little bit quicker on the slick pro lines but between these two tires <clears throat> I believe uh, Brandon's difference was about two or th or three or four tenths I would say and mine was like a tenth or two so there was a little bit of difference there <clears throat> I'm not sure how these would work if I slicked them out on that day but uh, this is the only set I have so I wasn't going to do that but you know comparing them to pro lines with you know literally the same amount of tread pretty much on a wet track these worked better so I'm not saying this will be the case every time but uh, it's been happening quite often at our track and then uh, if you're new to the hobby I can't stress enough how much you need to run aka scribbles just because of the ease of breaking them in basically <clears throat> you have to scuff the sidewalls with a scotch bright pad and even that I'm not sure if you have to do it it's just I was told to do it by a <clears throat> aka team driver so I have been doing that but you know you just sauce them and you put two runs on them maybe and they're ready you know two like four or five minute runs and they're ready to go so if you're just getting into the hobby starting racing these are definitely the tires I would recommend for you I still have a bunch of pro lines so I'm not uh, I'm not stopping running my pro lines I'm not switching to AKs or anything um, I'm still going to be doing a bunch of testing I want to slick them out so try them in dry conditions and conditions that call sl for slicks like try them every way possible see see how they hold up against pro lines and then I actually do have some J concepts too and I'm gonna compare all three of those in a future video sometime so we'll see how that goes a lot of the fastest guys or really all of the fastest guys at my local track they run uh, they run um, a or J concepts I'm sorry not aka so they run J concepts besides maybe like two or three guys who are on pro lines and uh, pretty much out of like the top tier guys nobody runs aka but there are like couple proper fast guys who uh who do run them and they have been doing well so i'm sure all the tires are good i'm not trying to start an argument or anything i'm just trying to figure out which tire is best and what i want to run in the future so for now it seems like those scribbles are really really good however like i said with you know the pro or the track calling for low pin and the tires being on high pin i can see where the scribbles would work a little better just because the track was so moist and they seem to work in the wet conditions really well all right so this uh test is going oops going to the scribbles and we'll we'll continue this uh testing never ends in racing you always are looking for that tenth or two so uh we'll keep on doing this 
all right guys uh, that's it for today if you've enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one